And now uh, we have a lot of people today, as you can see, and I'm sure our speakers and moderator would love to know who you are. So <laughs> why don't we go around the room to do a quick self-introduction? But since there are many of us, please limit your introduction to three seconds with the name, yeah, three seconds, with name and company or organization affiliation. Thank you. So well, please go ahead. Um, I'll start. I will start by um, introducing myself. My name is Gordon Sasamori. I volunteer for KSI, and during the daytime, I work at a company called Waterbit. We provide solutions to farmers to automate and uh, bring their. Too long. <laughs> too long. <laughs> That's too long. So, um, one caution: when you use this, please don't. Touch the antenna. If you touch the antenna, it will interfere with the reception. So hold it up like this. Hold it. Get a better reception. <coughs> My name is Chinatana. I'm uh, a shareholder in a California um, professional law corporation on behalf of uh, Sugimura. International Patent Office in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Misako, Misako Ito, and I'm working for Mitsubishi Motors in Japan. Kimberly Weepling, Silicon Valley Alliances, go to Japan every month for 10 years. Exciting! <laughs> <laughs> That's great for <laughs> um, Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Jane Zhang. And I work for the CEO office of Rock Tent Inc. And I'm just driving U.S. expansion out here. Hi, Shigeru Ito from Fujikin of America. We are making uh, components for semiconductor uh, binary circuit equipment. My name is Maeda Masami. Uh, uh, I live. Uh, Hi, I'm Sachi Samamira. I'm a KSI volunteer. Um, I'm a product marketing uh, professional currently working at Intertrust Technologies. Nathan, Google. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Marse, Global Brain, Venture Capital. I mean, that was the uh, from the MUFG Union Bank. Ken Sukahara with Collier's International Commercial Real Estate Broker. Just three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Koji Kaza from Gushkin of America. I'm a director of sales. Hi, thank you. Goes this way? Yeah. Hi, I'm Phil Keyes. I also volunteer at Keyes I Silicon Valley, and I also work in marketing and interest. <clears throat> Good evening, Chimi Shoya, President of Keda Silicon Valley. Uh, also, Senior Director of BizDev for ZLTEC, one of the sponsors. Hello, uh, I'm Okay, my name is Chimi Shoya, office. Hi, I'm Vijay Yamada. I'm a sponsor of Sydney's Garage of Stanford University, from Bank of Working with CFC. Jack Mormon. And MedTech Frontiers. Hello, I'm Shikura, actually business development for Avantech Vascular. James So, Venture Investment in Health. I'm Carol Cherkis, I'm with a small investment bank, uh, life sciences expert. I've been working with Japan for 15, 20 years. Rochelle Kopp, Japan Intercultural Consulting. I, uh, I'm Hiro uh, Sakai from Mitsubishi Motors. Uh, I'm Wataru Ono from Mitsubishi Motors. I'm Boko from Mitsubishi Motors Corporation. I'm Sunil Mercury Cloud is out there. We provide software and cloud integration services. Hello, my name is Bob Galino. I'm co-founder of a startup in the smart home. 
empty space that you've probably never heard of. Uh, David Cowan, I do it this way. David Cowan, I'm a sales trainer and management consultant. Hi, I'm Masano Rigando. I'm uh, working at the Fortinet, it's a cybersecurity company. Vinat Vivedi, I'm a product management at Oracle. Hi, I'm Seiko, um, UX designer at Atlas in the Japanese design community. I run Japanese design community. Hi, Masato Iehara from Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. My name is Yuta Katayama from Mitsubishi Research Institute. Hi, I'm Maki Yamaoka. Uh, I work for Toyota Research Institute. I'm developing a, a self driving car and AI agent system. My name is Sumiko Misiba. I'm a chiropractor in Sunnyvale. I use the technique called CBT, which stands for Chiropractic Biophysics, which is considered more advanced the most effective method of all. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Karani Nishijima, uh, the president and CEO of Nishijima Enterprises, uh, specializing in international trading and startups. Helping startups and, and uh, investment, and also uh, anything else I can do. <laughs> Hi, uh, Kenichi Matsumura, uh, Nipro Corporation. Uh, looking for uh, new medical technologies. Hi, I'm Ryo Tengaki from Nipro Corporation. I'm working for uh, business development. Hi, I'm Sayori Tsujiya from Mitsubishi Corporation. Hello, my name is Haruko Sasamoto, also from Mitsubishi Corporation. Hi, my name is Neil Pichis. I'm actually Mitsubishi Electric. Yeah, there are lots of Mitsubishi companies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Mitsubishi Electric. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jim Maracondo, and I do business development for ISI N2 of America. Nice, nice to meet you all. Hi, my name is Nobu Gori Spain from Bank of the West and subsidiary of BNP Paliba. Hi, my name is Shigemi Piasi. I'm with Daiwa Living California, which is a subsidiary of Daiwa House Group. Hi, I'm Brian Weddle, an M&A partner with Deloitte, and I just recently got back from three years in Tokyo doing cross-water M&A. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Jim Fukushi from Deloitte M&A practice as well. Uh, I'm here for two months of assignment from Tokyo office. Nice to meet you all. Hi, I'm Satoru Araki. I'm a technology domain consultant. Hi, I'm Hiro Stufi from AZC Asahi Grass Company in Kabakino. Tom Spargo, a consultant, business development consultant to Japanese companies for about, uh, this is like 15th year now doing this. Thank you. Hi, my name is Carol Lern. I'm a legal counsel at ASO. We provide imaging software to OEM and hardware companies. Hello, my name is Sayaka, a college student at San Jose State University. Hi, Yuichiro Ichikawa, uh, Plant Warehouse Coopers. Hello, Kansu Samishima, Wako Life Science. We manufacture uh, medical devices, including human markers. Hi, I'm Satoru Iwasaki from Porsia. Hi, uh, Yuki Soda from uh, Block for IBM and also one of the directors of the Japan Business Group Equestrian Federation. Shankar Saikia, Model and Software Sales. Hi, I'm Shira Heijan with Toy Corporation. Hello, I'm Yutaka Kuroda. Uh, Managing Director of Cardinal Consulting International. We do business consulting for the, mainly for the IT industry companies. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Shinrofuka, Liberal Council of Jesuit Micro, and a lawyer in New York State. I'm Yasuhiko Shibasuji from Toshiba Men. Aki Abekar, Carnegie Mellon University and Junior Technology. specializing in uh, for, uh, helping um, uh, U.S. startups forge strategic alliances with um, U.S. major corporations, including technology licensing, fundraising, and also um, projects and NRE projects. Hello, James Cranton, uh, M&A lawyer at Interfocus Law, and also acting general counsel of Subterrain Studios, a VR gaming company. <coughs> Master Marema, um, I'm, I'm, I'm coming from Hull in Seasonal Information Systems. We provide the integration transfer solution and we have uh, a bunch of market sharing worldwide. Hi, my name is Hiro Takaishi. Uh, I am a government official of the Japanese government. Yes, hi, I'm Michael Eckhart. I'm with the Chasm Institute. I'll be a panel discussion member in September 11th. We've written a Crossing the Chasm book and have finally the third edition written in Japanese. So you'll be getting a copy of that in September if you'd like. Hi, my name is Christopher Chan. I'm with Sam School Associate. Hi, I'm Hyoka Zarai from NHK. I'm a tech person. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Scherr, consultant in innovation and business development. I, uh, I'm Chu Chen. I'm in the financial service industry. Tyson Homa from Boris Horner House Coopers. Tony Hansen, Asia Staff, Business uh, uh, Consulting. Hi, I'm Charlie Nazawa from Kyushu University. Hi, I'm Takeshi Masuda from Koito Manufacturing. So we have a, a new office in Silicon Valley from this April. Hirohori Murauka from Hitachi Data Systems. Hi, my name is Momo Lee from YPS International. Uh, we provide translation and interpretation in 60 different languages. Hi. <laughs> I'm with Parksville, but planning to uh, provide innovation for biotech. Hi, I'm Michi Anase from Nazum, uh, which is a business consulting firm. I am Tom Okada with Whitricity, making uh, electric vehicle uh, uh, charged wirelessly, and also Silicon Valley Alliances making impossible happen at the companies. <laughs> Good evening, Tony Booker with iSearch Worldwide. We're uh, executive recruiting and market entry business development for the tech industry here in Tokyo. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Nick Kovada from uh, Pericon MD, which is a um, pharmaceutical um, company and uh, doing the technical product, product management. Hello, I'm Jim French from Panasonic. Gina Bertolino from NVIDIA, formerly Mitsubishi Shoji. Hi, I'm Sachio Kashihara from Fujitsu Technology and Business of America. And last but not least, Jeffrey Jackson, Silicon Valley Alliances, a global team collaboration company. Great, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all for coming again. So let's get started with our program real program. Uh, now, um, today we have Dr. Devon Thakur, founder and principal consultant at his company, Aniaflex LLC, and also a primary examiner at U.S. Trade uh, Patent and Trademark Office in biotech and pharmaceutical fields. He received his PhD in biomedical engineering from UCLA, after which he was associated with Kyoto University in Japan, as well as Harvard Medical School. So please welcome Devon. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. It gets too 
loud and I get excited and yell or something, <laughs> and you can tell me to get back on. Um, thanks for the introduction, Kana. My name is Devan. Um, my Japanese name is Devan. So, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so as uh, Kana mentioned, I used to live in Kyoto, um, and uh, I do a few things. Um, uh, I guess most relevant to today is um, I consult on uh, R&D and business development, mostly in life sciences, pharmaceuticals, and healthcare. Um, so that's me. Um, and so today for you, uh, we have actually some really amazing panelists, uh, both from uh, local um, companies, uh, U.S. companies here in the Silicon Valley uh, ecosystem, as well as uh, Japanese companies that are innovating uh, here in Silicon Valley. And so we're going to see a dialogue uh, between them. Um, and so how it's going to work today is first, we're going to hear a bit from um, the, uh, the locals uh, about, because they have experience actually with uh, Japanese companies. Um, and they'll introduce themselves and then you will hear from them a little bit if they have any insights about typical issues faced with uh, Japanese companies seeking to innovate in Silicon Valley. And then we'll hear from the, um, the Japanese companies uh, with regard to what strategies they're using um, to innovate in Silicon Valley. And then we'll go back to our um, locals and hear their opinions on this and uh, any additional insights they might have to offer. And then uh, we'll open up the floor to questions and comments from everybody uh, with the goal of having a big discussion amongst all of us uh, that should be fun and interesting. Um, so I'll just briefly mention um, who we have, and then they'll introduce themselves in uh, more detail. Uh, so we have uh, Alex Lander from uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers. Uh, he's a partner there and an innovation consultant. Um, we have Don Stark, who's uh, an engineer at Google, um, and uh, used to be with uh, Toshiba. Um, and then we have uh, uh, Yasushi Komori, who is a principal of Gree's uh, CDC uh, VR Capital. Fund. Um, and then we have uh, Nick Sugimoto, who's uh, from the CEO of the newly founded uh, Honda R&D Innovations. Um, and then we have uh, Eita Kitani, who is, uh, um, does new business development at Mithnia Mitsubishi Corporation. So, um, if we can start uh, with Alex, if you could introduce yourself um, and uh, give us any pertinent thoughts to set the stage. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Um, having grown up in Russia, I find it a little funny to call myself a local in the Silicon Valley. Uh, but I've been here for about 27, 27 plus years, uh, for the first 10 years, in various engineering and engineering management roles here in the Valley, and then for the last 17 in consulting, focusing on innovation, product, new products and services, new technologies, new business models. Uh, I've been uh, at PwC for the last five years, and prior to that, uh, I was leading innovation and product development practices in a smaller consulting company, PRT and management consulting. Um, everybody comes to the Silicon Valley for innovation, and you know I think it's no surprise because innovation is very, very profitable. Uh, a couple of years ago, we looked and compared the 20 most innovative companies as defined by Fortune magazine. And with the 20 largest companies, and when you look at the historical performance, the valuation growth of the 20 most innovative companies was five to ten times the growth of the largest ones. So there is no question that uh, companies want to be innovative. Uh, we also, I think, all know that innovation is actually very, very difficult. Yeah, it was difficult in the past. I think it's uh, much more difficult now where the new technologies are coming in fast and furious, where the industrial minds are blurring and blending, um, where the uh, global forces uh, actually change the landscape before our own eyes. And it is especially difficult when you are trying to do it remotely, if you're trying to do it at a distance, when you actually have the critical mass in one place and you come to a different place and actually trying to win. And I think while we spend a lot of time today uh, probably on cultural aspects of innovation and maybe you know, how uh, specifically Japanese companies um, are, are trying to innovate here in the Silicon Valley, I would actually suggest that this is probably the smallest of the challenges that most companies face. Uh, 
I work in my role with companies here in the Silicon Valley trying to help them be more innovative. I work with companies who are coming to the Silicon Valley, and I work with companies elsewhere who are trying to bring Silicon Valley to them. I work with companies in Japanese, German, British, American. And I actually find a lot more similarities and challenges when it comes to innovation across a variety of companies globally than the differences. And I think most of those challenges are actually organizational in nature. Um, and I think we'll talk today about what those challenges are uh, in our present time. Uh, but in order to illustrate the point, uh, let me take you back in time and give you an example from history it has nothing to do with the Silicon Valley, it has nothing to do with innovation, but it has everything to do with large, complex organizations trying to actually win in a different way in a foreign land. I recently read a book about the American Revolution, and specifically about the Revolutionary War. And we all know the outcome. But what was absolutely fascinating for me was the actual details of how that war was fought. So let me give you a few examples, and I suspect many of you will actually recognize the challenges that I would describe in how your companies are trying to innovate coming to the Silicon Valley. So let me just name a few. First, a lot of that war was fought by remote control from London. The decisions went back and forth, and no major decisions here were actually made without real you know, approval from London. Now, the means of communications have changed since then, and it's a lot faster to communicate the messages back and forth, but the fact that you actually have to do that is a major challenge. People who were here on the ground made their decisions looking over their shoulder back to London. You recognize that, right? The British were very, very worried about their reputation. And therefore, they're trying to win that war by not losing. They were looking at the American colonies as a place. They wanted to be in Boston. They wanted to be in New York. They wanted to be in Philadelphia. <coughs> they were not looking at this as a society of human beings or an ecosystem that they actually need to win. If I look across all of those attributes, if you will, of how that was war was fought. And if I look at how large enterprises globally, whether Japanese or German or even from you know Midwest, if you will, how they try to come to Silicon Valley and actually innovate. I would actually argue that the same organizational challenges exist now and the same organizational challenges need to be overcome in order for the companies to be successful with coming to the Silicon Valley and actually getting the value out of the Silicon Valley that they can get. Um, I think we'll take a little bit of a shorter view than that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, so basically, you know, my background is in semiconductors. I was I was trained as a semiconductor engineer at MIT and Stanford, and then after graduating, I went to Japan. Um, I guess, you know, one thing that struck me as we all gave our introductions is if we'd done this presentation uh, when the KSI Society was founded, probably, you know, 30 or 40 percent of the people in this room would have had some connection to that industry because there was a tremendous amount of back and forth. Um, can we have a show of hands of how many people uh, work in the semiconductor industry? Let's see, we got one. Oh, that's not bad. That's better than I expected. Um, but but it's definitely you know been kind of an up and down ride uh, for Japan as well as the United States and, and elsewhere over over the past uh, um, the past few decades. And if you look at let, let, let's look at what what worked initially um, for Japanese companies. Um, and then what didn't work, right? And maybe we can draw some, some lessons for that that are, that are still applicable today. Um, so if you look at how the, the Japanese semiconductor industry got started, it was really when, when uh, Western Digital uh, licensed the transistor in the 1950s. And so the precursors of some of the companies that are represented in this room, companies like Mitsubishi, uh, Mitsushita, uh, Hitachi, Toshiba, and also a small company that there was called Sony, um, actually went off and licensed that transistor. And they made a tremendous go of it, right? I mean, the companies, uh, you know, they had a uh, great start in the 1950s. They built up in the 60s. In the 1970s, they recovered from the oil shock much faster than their American compatriots did. 
Um, and so by the time that um, I was a student in the 1980s, uh, Japanese semiconductor companies held, you know, north of 50.